Curtis Ellis is a former Trump campaign senior advisor and a senior policy advisor with America First Policies, an organization that promotes the policy agenda of the U.S. president. Curtis, great to have you with us. Hours of testimony and a grilling by lawmakers. What has all this accomplished? Uh, that's a very good question. What did it accomplish? Uh, for the person who is stuck in traffic, for the person, the average American voter who is trying to make a car payment, house payment, insurance payment, worried about whether they'll have a job tomorrow or if it will be sent to China, and wondering if their children are going to have a better future than they have, this hearing accomplished absolutely nothing. And they've got to be asking themselves, why don't the people we elected to help us solve the problems facing us do their job instead of playing cheap political games of gotcha? This was, I think it's fair to say, a scathing character assassination of the president by someone who was once loyal and had a very close relationship with the president and also his family. Given their history, are those claims even credible? Well, considering that Michael Cohen is a self-admitted liar, a convicted liar, a convicted criminal, and a lawyer, <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of credibility in people's eyes. Uh, people value loyalty, and Mr. Cohen has exhibited zero loyalty and even less credibility. So people are asking, again, what does this do for me? How does this help me? And why is Congress involved in these investigations? Look, the House of Representatives House Oversight Committee is charged with and has a responsibility to investigate matters pertaining to legislation and the function of government and the execution of the laws and duties of governmental institutions. What Donald J. Trump did as a real estate developer in New York or as a husband and father who wanted to protect his marriage and his wife from unseemly uh, news stories has absolutely nothing to do with the duties and responsibilities of the House Oversight Committee. It is clearly transparent that what they're trying to do is build a case for impeachment. And a good number of people, a healthy percentage of the American electorate, is going to see this for what it is an attempt to reverse and upset the election, the legal and uh, duly elected president of the United States, and to nullify the will of the people, the people who elected Donald J. Trump to be president. And look, we've seen this movie before. In 1998, the Republicans took control, having taken control of the House of Representatives, launched an endless series of investigations into President Bill Clinton. They didn't confine themselves to investigating matters uh, around the White House and how he was disposing of his duties as president. No, they started looking into his business dealings in Arkansas before he became president. We know this as the Whitewater real estate investigation, which then led to an impeachment on unrelated charges. People were sick and tired of this, of the endless investigations. They asked themselves, why is Congress investigating instead of legislating? And they punished the Republicans right, Curtis at the Ellis, polls. Unfortunately, and I I'm so suspect sorry we're going we to have see a run repeat out of, of time. Right. Curtis Ellis, appreciate you being with us. Uh, we will definitely have you back to get um, your perspective again.